Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, we'll be talking on how to pass data from one fragment to another fragment in Viewpager. So I will show you the sample app before we begin. So this is my Viewpager app in Sketchware. Whatever I write here appears here. New will appear here. Old old will appear here. Okay. So we're going to do this in Sketchware. You can download the project from Sketchly. I don't gain from making tutorials as we have not reached minimum requirements for access partner. Please support us by subscribing, sharing this video, liking and commenting. It will go a long way in helping us to grow. Your support keeps me. This tutorial actually took me six hours because I had to understand the life cycle of Viewpager and I found out that it's not possible using Viewpager. So I use Viewpager 2. So this tutorial we're using Viewpager 2 to achieve what we need as Viewpager is depreciated, it has little features. So I converted my Viewpager to Viewpager 2. So all you just need to do is write two after every pager. Then I added the Viewpager library. Added the Viewpager library. Just a library, just one library. So let's see it's, and I found out it's even more easier. To implement so it's just one line of code to set adapter and dizer we are going to come to our extra a main activity so I created a more block called extra you can create yours and name it anything inside this extra I have a pager adapter so when scrolling if the position is the first if the position is zero then we will return our first view pager Fragment if it's the second position, then we return the second fragment. <coughs> so, in our get item count, we return the number of fragments. So, my number of fragments is two. You can change it depending on your number of fragments. So, added the following import. You can see all this when you have the project. So we're going to set adapter based on the fragment state adapter for our view page at two. So these are to set the adapter, just one line of code. That is our data will be set. So now I created fragment, two fragment. One of them is frag, frag. Frag, I created it, then frag two. So in Fred 1, we are going to write in on text chain list now we are going to send the data to Fred 2. Hi, Shirley. So I created a more block. Inside this more block, I created two sta a static variable called text. So a static variable called text. So the text is the static string is what we use to pass data from one fragment to another so as you can see text so now in our fragment 2 in order to receive the text we are going to add on resume so this is our on resume just select on resume like this since i've already added my own it's not appearing there so this is our on resume in our on resume we set text so as you can see, the tutorial is not even difficult, it's not even hard. So as we all know, Vpager is depreciated and Google has advised everyone to move over to Vpager 2. And this tutorial will be able to do that. So you are getting two things. You are able to transfer data from one fragment to another and you are using the updated Vpager 2. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe.